Hi and welcome back to South African Homesteader. So today my husband and I are going to be showing you our mulberry tree that I've started from seed two years ago and uh, we planted it uh, in the ground about a year and a half, a year and four months ago and so now what we are going to be doing is we are going to be pruning all the bottom uh, branches so that we can um, see if we can propagate it from um, those branches into new plants so this is the tree that I'm speaking about and I started this from a teeny tiny seed two years ago and what my hubby is just doing is we are wanting to trim some of the bottom uh, branches and we would like to get some hardwood branches and then we are going to see if we can propagate yeah, that one can go, and then we can use. I to get a bit of view. So I also have another one, which is the same age, started at the same time, but this one was a little bit more slow growing compared to this one. And I'm going to spin the camera around and show you how tall this tree is in comparison to um, my height. So this is me. And this here is the height of the tree. This is what he's cut up so far. And he's still busy. We are starting to clear out the garden because everything is slowly dying. Still have a sea of flowers down there, but we've started prepping the beds for some new plantings. So these are the branches that I'm going to be taking cuttings from. I will show you uh, how we are going to be doing it. We're going to be cutting it so that there's a little node just above where we, uh, where we cut it. And then put, dip it in the rooting hormone. And then we are going to be putting it in some... Um, usually, uh, I, I've watched some videos where they put it in soil. But I think we are going to be putting it in water. We just find it easier for the plant to grow. Okay, so he's removing all the, 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 the leaves and I'm sure we'll get about maybe six to seven cuttings from this. A lot more then. What do you need here? <coughs> Let's finish this up. So the reason he's cutting these so that we can get nice. Okay, that long enough? Um longer? Yeah. yeah. There yeah. we go, in below that one. That's one cutting. Yeah, you see and this is hardwood cuttings. Yeah, you want one of these? Like yes. One. Hold it. Okay. There's another one. Can you see these are nodes? There we go. Okay. <coughs> I'll put these here. Okay, uh, so one, two, three, four, five in my hands. And these are another four there. And there's only the first branch, yes. But now we need, to, we need to know what is what is bottom and what is top. <laughs> yeah, you can see them. That's a node. They've been cut on both sides, right? Yes. So that's, that's bottom because this is growing up. Okay. okay. And you see here? That's growing up. Oh, okay. You have to have a haki on the farm. Space for 100 cuttings. Because uh, we need to generate lots of shade here. What he said was we have enough space to plant as many mulberry trees. And 
The, the roots of these trees can be quite invasive, but we are not planting it close to any um, part of the house at all. So they will have enough space to grow. And because they're so fast growing, it's a good idea for us to just um, plant it to create shade, like you said. So I don't know how that is going to turn out, if we are going to be able to root it. We are going to be putting some root hormone on the uh, uh, stems that we've cut. So this is the rooting hormone that we are going to be using. Okay, so these, <laughs> these are all the little um, stems that we are going to be putting into the rooting hormone. It's just going to be dipping it into the rooting hormone and putting it into the water. So that's it. And then we'll just mark a date on there and see if we're going to be getting any little shoots coming out from these stems and these cuttings. So this is what we have after um, this has been now about three weeks but after 10 days already we had some that have started rooting see those little nodes those are the roots these ones took longer that's why it's still in the water but what I did with the others it was exactly 10 days actually after we did the um, cuttings and I have transplanted those in pots about two weeks ago just just about 10 days after we did the cutting so I'll show you those these were the ones that took a bit longer but I suppose these were the thicker stems that's why it took so long this is one of the ones that was transplanted it's very windy here so that's why there's a bit of dust on it but this is one of the ones that I transplanted about maybe two weeks ago and that one is another one and here's another one and I have some more on the windowsill. I've also given some to um, a neighbor and one to a brother-in-law of ours. Oh, that's another one. And there's another one. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, then please consider subscribing. We do a lot of videos on how the farm is progressing etc and then also please like this video and share amongst your contacts so that we can grow the channel and share our, our journey with more people yeah so from me Harriet at South African Homesteader until next time